much threat in the sunny side, and that's why they're better. And the sun is going to rise to the right of the snowtack up at 14 degrees. It's a gentle arc, so you follow it that way. Except that the sun is still going to rise through that hill over there, and the eclipse will occur over there, where it's cloudy, of course, now. Oh, you've got little tote bags, too. Mm -hmm. And bumper stickers. Oh, bumper stickers yes. that you're running here. Well, I'm uh, presenting workshops on uh, eclipse viewing, uh, safe methods of viewing the eclipse, things to look for during the eclipse, and then also making some suggestions about eclipse photography, what, uh, uh, some general suggestions about what to shoot and how to go about it, and try to answer some specific questions that people might have on exposures and films and lenses, things of that sort. And just actually seeing the, the moon move in front of the sun, there are some things you can look for during totality that you see. Uh, in clear or cloudy skies, and uh, even if it's cloudy, it's going to get dark. <laughs> It'll get dark. Yeah. Natural can dark. Can dark. Uh, can, can dark. Describe what that is. Can dark is dark from the eclipse. It is the conversion is light that has been converted to dark by the moon blocking the sun's light. How did you how did you manage to capture uh, the dark? Well, uh, it's, a, it's an intricate process. We worked and we're researching it for quite a few years. Uh, I can't tell you how though, because of course if I told you that, then everyone would go out and can dark. So uh, it's sort of a trade secret, you know. What I'm saying. They're just uh, black prints of the solar eclipse. Excuse me, could you tell me uh, what your name and where you're from? My name's Ann Fiedler, I'm from Corvallis. Nancy Nickerson, I'm from Corvallis. Shirley Little, New Jersey. Robin Hanrahan, Tillamook. And you're here for the eclipse, is that right? Mm -hmm. We're on a uh, field trip sponsored by Oregon State University. Uh, why are you interested in the eclipse? Because it's not going to happen again until uh, 2018, so it's this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's been you've come a fair a fair distance to see it. How far would you go to see an eclipse? Well, we're going. Uh, we're not. We we just stopped here for lunch. Oh, I think it's great. I wish it happened more often, but it doesn't. Well, is this the most exciting thing that's happened in Goldendale in a while? Oh, it sure is. There hasn't had anything happen like this in a long time. Obviously, the eclipse has aroused widespread interest. Why is that? Do you think? Any sort of phenomenon like that that's, that you can look up and see something going on, you know, above you, I think is going to, to draw curiosity because it takes us out of the things that we can build and manipulate and moves us into a realm of things that are happening. Okay. And you're here for the eclipse, I can tell by those buttons. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, why are you interested in the eclipse? Kelly, why don't you answer that? <laughs> I guess it's just because it's something that's historical to me. I've read a lot about it, and it just seems to be an exciting new thing. Yeah, it's been described as Total Experience 79. What do you think the experience is going to be like? That I don't know, but I hope that it is something like that. All the reading I've done, I think it's going to be awing, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> You're watching the people uh, who come to watch the eclipse. Uh, right, right, yeah. We hear there's some peculiar things going to happen. <laughs> this town is small, right? There's going to be 5,000 people, and so we're just surprised. <laughs> You're a police officer here in Goldenville, is that true? That's true. Does it, all these people, with all these people coming in, do you anticipate any uh, serious problems or anything? No, not really. Just traffic and congestion would be the only major thing we have. We understand that the, that the Druids are coming to town. Have you made any special preparations for them? Who are they? The new order of reformed Druids are going to be in Stonehenge. Oh, I've heard something about it, but uh, we don't expect any problem from them. The prophecies will come when shadow mates with sun. Okay. Oh. Second stoplight, turn left, a half a block, and you'll see the eclipse center there. And you go in and see them to get a pass, they'll let you go up then. I'm sure. Oh. Tell them who, who you are and where you're from, and they'll say I'll let you go up, I'm sure. Thanks.
from KWSU Television, Public Broadcasting. Where is that? In, in No, it's in eastern Washington. Uh huh. And uh, how long have you been up here for? Well, we've been here, I'd say, off and on the last couple of weeks. We're doing a national program for PBS on the eclipse in the town of Goldendale and just what effect Goldendale is, you know, what the impact on Goldendale will be. What do you think about all this activity? Well, I think it's fabulous. How's that? Well, brings a lot of people to town, strangers, you meet a lot of strange people. And make the money selling food. <laughs> On my leave at home, I cut him a new shaft, put in the bags and the belts, and then I took it down to the bus station and had it freighted over here in the footlocker. So I'm part of it, you see, and I, I helped build the the platform under the telescope. Yes, uh, CBS were some of the first people out, and of course they uh, made an offer to stick their scope, the camera on the telescope to our board of directors, which was rejected. They didn't feel the offer was large enough, and so NBC came along and made a, a suitable offer, and so the board did accept that. Are you here for the eclipse? I am. Uh, why are you interested in seeing it? I've been dreaming about a club expedition ever since 1914. <laughs> Time has just built up a sentimental feeling about it. And this is this your first one then? This is the first, my first one. Uh, uh, first, after a sad failure in 1963, being uh, two miles of Bar Harbor, having to leave the day before the eclipse, having to leave July 19th, 1963. To return to Washington. Ah, oh, so you missed that one. I know there's one August 31st, 1932, north of Boston, because I watched it with a little girlfriend in Miami, and it was about 83% total there in Miami. <laughs> Upon thy face, a peppy enemy of Ray. Go back, retreat thou. Enemy Sabal, without arms and without legs, split up his snout in the sky. Rahamachi, he eclipses you. Out of the west that comes forth on the wind is the gentle mist in the morning upon plants. Spirit of water that comes forth from the earth, gushing and bubbling in streams and rivers and lakes. Spirit of water that comes forth in fire gushing in geysers. Spirit of water that comes forth in the ocean crashing upon the shore and crashing upon the rocks. Be with us now. Replace the Shadow mates with sun. <laughs> 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 